Holy gender bender. Have you heard the news, folks? It is verbone to discriminate against trans people these days. You know, the guy who says he's a woman trapped in a man's body, or the gal who says she's gender fluid, meaning sometimes she's a he while other times she's a she, or maybe something else. What was the name of that Meryl Streep movie? It's complicated? Well, regardless, we now live in a day and age in which we must cater to those whose identity is being transformed. And case in point, when it comes to City of Toronto's locker rooms and change facilities policy, the city notes, and I quote, individuals have a right to use a change facility that corresponds to their expressed gender identity, regardless of their sex assigned at birth. Hmm, maybe this transgender progressive policy looks good on paper, folks, but how does it play out in the real world? Well, we thought we'd put this transgender reasonable accommodation mandate to the test. So we dropped by here to the Dennis R. Timbrell Resource Center, where I'll be sporting my new persona as... Shazam! Lady Menzoid. We chose this facility, folks, because this is Toronto's first Sharia swimming pool. You see, a few years ago, this facility decided to cater to the Muslim community by dedicating certain pool and gymnasium times as female only. Not only that, during the female only swim sessions, all the windows of the pool are covered up niqab like, which unfortunately prevents parents from watching their girls swim because, well, cultural accommodation. So the question arises, will a man temporarily identifying as a female be allowed into the rec center during the Sharia session? Well, there's only one way to find out if trans rights will trump Islamist rights. I'm going to see if I can go for a swim with the real woman. Let's see what happens. Ladies, ladies only boys. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> What's up? Let me see. Hey! Hey! Fresh! I don't even know your name! Mm. How dare you! Who are these young boys? Don't they know it's ladies only today? Hello. Hi. Um, this is a female-owned swim. Oh. Is yes, I, I, I'm identifying as trans. Um, okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, but if, I, if, if I get anyone complaining, or if I get some, if, uh, the majority of these are patrons, right? So if they, if they feel uncomfortable at any point, I'm, I'm going to um, have to go with Oh, really? Oh, I see. I no, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you in a bad situation. The um is the um uh is that the way the policy works if somebody complains about a you know, a trans uh individual When you say they, is this a private swimming club or? Um, you know, we have public, but it's, it's meant for women only, like for the hour. So for 4 to Right, Th that's why I came here today, because I, 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 I'm, I'm identifying as a woman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm fine with them, but I'm just letting you know okay. that if anyone is feeling uncomfortable with it, then I, 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 I'm sorry. I have to leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is, is that. Is that the city policy that if somebody complains about a trans individual, the trans individual has to leave? Okay. Oh, pardon me. If you're comfortable, then I'm fine. Okay. Is is there any reason they wouldn't be comfortable? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to hurt anyone. I'm just going to have a swim, right? Yeah. Hi. Oh yes, uh, yeah. your your colleague. I'm just letting him know, like, it's, 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 it
if, any, if anything happens, just come back to us and like, because I already got like a couple complaints and I don't want like. Oh, about me? Yeah, and I don't oh. want people to like be like like afraid of you. That's not like something that should be happening. We're, we're it's a public school. It shouldn't be like right. like just for some for certain people. But it's honestly not like how we how we do it around here. So like, okay. you, you can swim, yes, for sure. Um, I so I, your it. colleague was saying if somebody complains, I'd have to leave. Is that right, or? Um, I'll deal with it. Honestly, it's not even. Oh, okay here, then. I'll deal with it. Now, is it because it is? Is it a a woman only swim, or is it a, a Muslim woman only swim? Yeah, I mean, it's a woman only swim, but it, this area is uh, the majority of this area is um, Muslim, and so like they consider them since they wear hijabs and stuff, they're right. very like, oh, I don't want a man seeing that my hair kind of thing, right? And like I totally respect their um, religious stuff, right? But like at the same time, if you consider yourself a woman, then you should be able to swim here. It's not even. Right. It would it. Help things if I were to get a less revealing swimming costume, or no, no, it's totally no? fine. Like, okay, do whatever you want. Okay, then, because yeah. all right, so because uh, I'm just going back to what you said if somebody complained, I'd have to be asked to leave, but that might not be the case. Yeah, and uh, okay, then. Uh, issue. that's what you said earlier, though, right? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi there. Did, did anybody complain? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be going very soon. Did anyone complain or? Um, no, it was, it was, uh, like, some people actually understood. They were like, oh, it's okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so okay. Good okay, your colleague told me somebody had complained. But anyway, yeah. so anyway, oh, okay. Oh, it's so refreshing. Yeah. Thank you. Come back anytime. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Are you going in, ladies? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's so you know so hot outside. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful out there. You should go in for a swim. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Well, that was interesting, eh, folks? Uh, as you saw, a 54-year-old heterosexual man can simply claim he's a woman and. Uh, can get into the inner sanctum, the change room, the swimming pool that is female only. Although it was interesting, the first lifeguard said that if any of the real women complained, I would have to leave the pool. So I guess in that case, that's the Islamist rights trumping trans rights. Although in fairness, the second lifeguard said to leave it with her, she would deal with it. But still, does this seem right to you that a male heterosexual can simply say that he is the opposite sex and get away with it at the potential safety risk of real women, real girls? I don't think that's right. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.